What is up everybody, Josh here again, and today we have an Icarus Week 66 update. This week they've added one new mission and an update to their Galileo project. Let's get into it, shall we? Icarus Week 66, Mission Ironclad, Icarus Week 66 update, Mission Ironclad and updates on Galileo. Deploy protective metal plating in Ironclad and read our progress on the fishing and beastry in upcoming Galileo. Week 66 introduces a new mission in Icarus, Ironclad, tasked with deploying protective plating to three different locations in preparation for a research station development. Your task will be fraught with risk and challenges. We also give an update on our Galileo project and our progress so far on the fishing and beastry features. Jump in and have a read. So this week we have a new mission, Mission Ironclad. This week brings a new mission to Icarus Ironclad, which tasks you to deploy large metal plates in three different locations on the map in preparation for a research station deployment. Your briefing is as follows. So the new mission is on the Styx map, and it is in the top left corner over here. It is the very end up top called Ironclad Research. Construct plating for research station protection. So on medium, this gives you 250 rand and 300 exotics. Hard is 375 rand, 450 exotics. And hard hardcore is 500 rand and 600 exotics. So it looks like in the mission, there's several locations you have to go to to create these plating. And on the left-hand side here, you'll see it says deploy protective plating. And you got to deploy it at three different sites, Alpha, Brava, and Charlie. And you have to have the fabricator to craft the layer plating. So we also have some orbital exchange interface improvements and they've been gathering feedback on our improvements to dropship and mission reward pod landing spots and are adding one more safeguard this week, this time for orbital exchange pods. The orbital exchange pods can now be recalled from the orbital exchange interface in case they end up in a bad position, allowing you to move past any location issues that may have happened by random or prevent you from gathering resources. And they also mentioned some progress on Galileo this week. The first features that you'll see from the roadmap, the fishing system, and bestiary and achievements, they plan to combine these into one large patch that they've codenamed Galileo, and they expect to share in the next two to three months. More than just a fishing rod, their fishing system will let you use rods, lures, traps, and capture a variety of fish, which can be used in new cooking recipes, decorations, and collections. It includes a new UI for the angler, which records the number caught, the highest quality as well as longest and heaviest. You will have to diverse the map and fish in different environments to catch them all. This week, they have been spending most of their time iterating on the catching mechanic for fishing, and making adjustments to its performance and feel based on internal feedback. They also have managed to get the basic implementation of the bestiary and UI for fishing in their dev environment, as well as having a lot of fish being molded, skinned, and rigged. And those are the early foundations of both features, and they're making great progress early on this process. So we also got the change log this week, and the new content we have, Ironclad. As you can see, the only new content that was added this week was the Ironclad mission. And the fix section this week? Looks like it may have had some damage increases to the Hedgehog and Scorpion Hedgehog. They permitted the use of the unstuck button when mounted, and you can re-request exotic transport pods. You can now request your exotic transport pods every 30 seconds from 300 seconds and slight delay before the new pod comes down after sending off current one. And in the feature content this week, Talking about fishing, updated Moe's Cave Prefab. They've been talking a little bit about the striker and its animations and whatnot. Adding stats for catching different types, rarity of fish. Adding lava broodling attack vocal and all the step notifiers and attack notifiers. Added mesh for gold and copper wire. Carved wood sitting bench. They go on several times to talk a little bit more about the fishing items. And added the basic bestiary data setup. They're going to have fishing trap talents and adding a advanced lure pack. Talking about the basic tier 4 and tier 3 aquariums, recipes, talents, items, and models. Place fish in aquariums are now shown and bob up and down. Add in gold and copper wire items, recipes, and talents. Talking about the ice borer and talking about the super cold ice deposit again. And that's all I see in this changelog. 
And we just want to thank our YouTube members, Wolfie, Sergio, and KHX. Thank you guys so much for being members and supporting the channel. And for all the support you guys give us, you will be the final members as we will be discontinuing the membership after y'all's period. So if you would like to continue to support the channel, you may do so by our cash app or just by watching the videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, if you like what you see, to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel will get you weekly Icarus update videos just like this one. And we also have gods on our channel if you want to check those out as well. And hopefully, we'll see you next time. Peace.